What's up? It's Pharrell here. I'm here to walk you through like my morning, you know, routine, what it is that I do every day. Do I stay in here like this with my shirt off? I do. We're gonna start with the rice powder cleanser. So I like this because like you really get like a, it's like alchemical, you know, you watch this like come to life in your hands. You know, just a couple of shakes right there. Now we get in the phone situation. I started taking care of my skin like maybe a little over 20 years ago. It's when I met Elena Jones through a good friend. And, you know, I wanted to understand more and, you know, just about like skin health. The first thing is just like, you know, taking a shower is like for your body, right? But your face, that's the thing that people communicate with and your face is only as good as the energy that comes from behind it and that's just like understanding that like your face is different you got to take care of your face wife is in the background kiki and ha ha and all that and full on distracting me but i'm gonna focus because this is fun so the second step is the lotus enzyme exfoliator so look all the packaging was influenced by like uh, my love of the Japanese culture, you know, all of the, the craftsmanship that goes into like the bowls and the pottery. When you guys get this, I'm telling you, it's, it's really nice. You know, people keep asking like, what are you doing? What's your routine? And everybody's got a different routine, you know, and everybody's got different processes and methods. And for me, it was always, okay, you're gonna need a good cleanser you're gonna need a good uh, exfoliator. And then, and in my case, you're gonna need like our awesome humidifying cream, right? It moisturizes. But the number one thing for me is like routine. And so that's what we're giving people, a, a routine to like, a, for maintenance. You know, how to like take care of your skin. You see my shit blowing already, right? It's early. Exfoliate like a madman. You know, sometimes when I like wash my face, like, when I look at the um, the face cloth or the face towel, sometimes it's a little bit more like brown, you know? It's not because I'm dirty, it's just like you're exfoliating, just like removing those layers of dead skin as much as you can. That's what keep you fresh. Oh yeah, okay. And that's all you need, it's the perfect amount. And there are people who know about, you know, skin way more than I do. And they're always saying never, you know, Naomi used to say it all the time, like, Pharrell, when you wash your face, you go upward, not downward. Gravity. I'm telling you this right here, the way this feels. Okay, cause you know what it is? I'm a man, right? And no one teaches us like, and it's starting to work right now, it's tingling. But I'm a man, right? I, I, who's gonna tell me? Except the beautiful women that have been in my life. You know, they, they, I, I was like, man, how do you do it? What is, what's going on? Share it. And it's really mostly just maintenance. You know, it's like really, the routine is number one. I don't care what you're doing, you know, genes, genetics, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. You have got to cleanse your face, right? And use a cloth, people. Use a cloth. Use a face cloth. Okay, all this like unga bunga, cowboy, caveman shit, that ain't gonna do it, baby. You got to, that cloth is gonna help you exfoliate. Your face means nothing um, without the spirit that comes from behind it. Your face is what people talk to. They do not talk to your body. It doesn't emote. What emotes is your face. And so, you know, your, your face is, 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 is the, um, the conduit of like your expression and how you feel. How my day is gonna go is usually just based on like what I want out of it. You know, what do I want out of it? And, and I always say to people like, man, be blessed, but most importantly, be a blessing. So how can I do that? How can I be a blessing to someone today? in some way, shape, or form. You know, that's my that's my intention every day. So it comes in this little box. There's a whole bunch of them. You take this right here, stick that through. I had to bring it down here. You put this on top like this. Just a little bit like this. 
it just locks in the moisture. You know, I use it, I use it often. I don't use it all the time. This part I'm super uh, proud of. This is like, this is the one, right? I always talk about humidity. I think, like I grew up around humidity in Virginia. You know, it's, it's very humid there. And some people don't like it. Some people think that humidity is hot, but I think humidity is good for your skin. And the cool thing about this is, by the way, we're, this is human race, right? It can't be human race without the grail. I eat pretty clean. You know what I'm saying? I don't eat like fast food, but I eat a lot of sweets, man. I eat enough sweets to where like me eating clean don't mean shit. They just don't. Like, I love cupcakes. You don't even understand. But look, look how I'm going, man. Like, you know what I mean? Like, popping. Like, to go really build something so that we can not only make something good, but like set some great intentions out there in the world, too. That's when you know you're doing something right. It's not male or female, you know. It's for humans. That's what this whole thing is about for us. It's like, we need to connect with humans, man. There's so much divisiveness in the air. And, you know, um, and there's so many questions around like gender. And I just want to connect with humans. Like that's, I just want to, just basic human rights. That's how the universe is. The universe is not red or blue. The universe is just there for people. And it's all in how you use it. This I am guilty of not really holding up my end of the bargain on sunscreen. I mean, it's uh, it's 100% mineral, lip balm, double C, Chanel. You know what I mean? Skin health is something that I think everyone needs to pay attention to, whether you're using our products or not. Like, skin health is a very important thing. Um, and you have to consider where we are in our environment and, and what our policies are and the things that, the, the side effects of these policies, like, you know, how it affects the ozone and what it's doing to, you know, our skin, you know? And I think that we as black people are not, or people of color are not exempt. Like we all have to be cognizant of these UV rays. It's just a very different thing. I don't care who you are, what you're doing, you know, or. Uh, where you're able to get it from, whether it's from the CVS or it's from your favorite brand online, like you gotta get an SPF. I did a whole lot of talking. That's not what I usually do, but it was fun and I'm grateful um, working on myself, just like you. Thanks for watching, Vogue. Love.